Flow Team 5 here for Whiteboard Wars. Penn State, Iowa. Number two versus number three. Iowa number three went down to number one. Oklahoma State last week trying to rebound against number two Penn State. Now they're home. Carver Hawkeye could play a role. We know that. Let's More get than any off. other and, venue. And a lot of top rated matchups would get kicked off right away. The undefeated freshman Seriano, the undefeated senior Gilman. Christian Pyle says it's his most anticipated bout of the year. Um, we saw Clark and Cade Brock last week. This week, Seriano, Gilman. Until proven otherwise, I'm going with the Savage. Uh, what do I go here? Mark Mayer. You know what's really difficult is to imagine somebody taking down Suriano. He, he got taken down by Lezak once, but um, that was a third period. It almost didn't matter. Um, Suriano is a tough guy to take down, but Gilman is probably the best takedown artist at the weight. Got it, like Bader says, got to go Gilman until proven otherwise. Uh, and I'm going regular decision. Decision, yes. I mean, it's a toss-up. I'm giving it to Gilman. A lot of toss-ups in this. We'll get to those here in a second. Not a toss-up. 133, Carpenter versus number three, Clark. We got a guy in here. We got, we got roaming animals. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the Flow HQ. Flow Sports, baby. Uh, Clark, Carpenter. Go ahead, Willie. All right, so Carpenter spot starting or has been starting a little, for a little while for Jared Cortez. Clark, um, you know, he lost last week, but I think a lot of people walked away with saying his shoulder's pretty good. Um, I mean, questionable takedown, yeah. extremely close riding time. So, Clark, I mean, he's a title contender. Carpenter's just a spot starter. I'm going a plus one here. I'm going, I'm going four points. Four points for, for you know what? Not, I'm, oh, oh. I'm going. I'm going. You're going. Give me five. I'll split the difference at five wow. because I don't know if it'll be a tech, but I think there's a chance of a fall. So, uh, kind of balances it out. I don't think there's going to be fall. I do think there's going to be a lot of points on the board. Go behinds. Um, he just, he's going to wear him down. Same thing Gilman did in the third period against Piccinini. Put a lot of points on the board. I'm going with the major decision. You're going decisions. four? So we got four right, All right. there. I have an 8-0. You have a 7-0. Gulaban Topher, one of the biggest sort of toss-up matches uh, in, in the duel. Gulaban not ranked now, of course. Um, he has, he's an All-American in the past. Carton really turning it on at a close match with uh, Dean Heil, late takedown there to make it close. But uh, Carton, I said on Flow Radio, he's really, he's really turned into a, a solid contributor. Now, I think, I think I'm going with, I'm going with uh, Carton. I don't know. I don't like the way Gulaban's wrestling right now. Gulaban, one of those hot and cold guys. He could be uh, top eight guys, but then he can lose to guys you wouldn't expect him to lose to. Um, most recently losing to Colton McChrystal um, in a match that really didn't look competitive in. Um, so I'm going, I'm going cart and regular decision. This is tough because all the things you just said ring true like to maybe play it in here. Except the one thing you said, he can beat top eight guys. He can have those big wins when he needs to. And he's been inside Carver Hawkeye before, so he understands what that's like. Gulliban's tough, man. You don't know what you're going to get from him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick Jimmy Gillibon over here. We'll give him a... Uh, my initials. All right, first points on the board uh, for Penn State. Um, you know, this is really the wheelhouse to, to get Iowa off to a good start. Another thing that might play into it, a lot of people are speculating even now on message boards, what, will, what weight will they start at? Because this, gives, this can give Iowa a good jump. I've never seen them start at anything but 25 in this duel meet. Yeah. Okay, 149, Z-Pang Sorensen, NCAA Finals rematch. Um, I don't see it. Zane puts up as many points as anyone in the country. I just, Sorensen can slow people down. He's felt uh, Rutherford about as much as anybody, any other um, opponent in the country. So I'm going regular decision. I mean, it's gotta be hard to pick against Zane Rutherford. Uh, arguably the most dominant guy in the country. At the same sense, it's hard to think he's going to put up bonus points on somebody as good as Sorensen. This very well could be your national final two years in a row. But we're going to go with the Zane train for right now. One regular decision? Regular decision. That's what the initials mean. Uh, this is not a three. That's a B on top of it. So right here is Iowa strength. Right here, Penn State strength. And they come back with another number one guy in the country. Although, guess who Iowa has? They have Michael Kemmerer. Number Former, two. number all the way up to number two teammates. now. So, they were former Young Guns teammates, so they know each other well. Cameron knows um, knows Nolf well. That being said, so I'm going 
I'm going regular decision. I, I have a hard time. There's a lot of people saying bonus points. It's hard for me to envision Nolf. It's hard for me to pick any number one majoring in number two. So I, I'm, I'm just going to keep it conservative and go with a regular decision. I'll agree with that. It's definitely hard to see uh, a number one majoring in number two. This is a tough one in this case. Pull the trigger. Ah, you the won't thing. pull the trigger. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't think, I wouldn't be surprised if Jason Old takes a loss between now and the end of his wrestling career. If that's going to happen, he's going to do it. Could it be for a former teammate inside Carver Hawkeye? Who thought Kem Dog would win? Who thought the Mud Dogs would win the Bourbon Bowl? <laughs> Undefeated, right? I'm going to take Kem Dog Million. Undefeated? In an upset. Call me crazy. Uh, Carver Hawkeye could do that, and the fact that they're teammates, I think, could play a role. Even if Nolf's a better wrestler, hey, if he's going to lose at some point, I'm hopefully going to call it. We're, we're mid-January, and, and undefeated. we have two undefeated matchups in this duel. Okay, <laughs> Chenzo, Gunther. Gunther has, was hurt, did not wrestle in the duel at Oklahoma State, and while he is ranked and have a decent season, I think Chenzo opens it up here a little bit. I'm going to go major for Chenzo. Um, Chenzo's good. I don't, I don't see a major here. I think Gunther um, I think is going to hold Ben Chenzo to a decision, but I'm going to go ahead and get my three points. Here's where I'm at. I think that Over to it, Penn I, th State. I, think it, I think Chenzo's a little bit better than what he was wrestling in the earlier part of the season. I think now that he's in a rhythm, you're going to see a little bump in his productivity, a little bump in his offense, and I think it starts here. Um, Morelli Meyer, 13-14. Another big toss-up. 13-14 matchup. You go first this time. 13-14 matchup. Looking at the whole, you know, I don't got to look at the whole thing. I guess just look at one match at a time. I'm going to jump back over on the Iowa side and say Meyer comes away with the decision here. Get back on the train after a loss at Oklahoma State. The crowd's behind him. It's loud. It's crazy. Yeah. Meyer gets it done. Meyer... I have a love-hate relationship with Meyer. I love him because, I mean, if it was back in the 3-3-3 era in periods, man, Meyer would be a really, he's a goer, right? So, but the, the problem I have with Meyer is that his, his defense isn't so great. He lets guys get in on legs, and if he scores, it's probably going to be on counters, and I don't like to count on counter scorers. Um, so... Oh, I can't. I'm gonna go. I gotta go, Meyer. I gotta go. Meyer. Last second. I gotta go, Meyer. I don't know. It's he, was, he was talking about taking Morelli earlier. So yeah, he's yeah. On the fence. That was a last second decision. I almost took Morelli. Okay. No Bickle. No Bickle versus AKA the mullet. The artist formerly known as the Moulet. Now. Man, he. Brooks. I, I picked Boyd last week. So did I. Brooks looked darn good. He put it on Nolan Boyd. So, but no Bickle's pretty good himself. Another undefeated guy, another guy that puts up crazy amount of points. Uh, I, again, two four matchup. I'm not going bonus here. I'm going regular decision, Bo. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Uh, it's either. Yeah, I'll take Bo. Either, you know, it's not out of. I'm not out of the question that Brooks would win, but you know, people are talking like Bo. If anybody's gonna be Gabe, it's they're talking Bo. I'm gonna go with Bo Nickel as well. McCutcheon, that's a homage to Sion because he can't get he can't get anybody's name right. Um, number eight in the country is last time out. I think was a loss to a, uh, it was a Splatel by uh, Studebaker from Nebraska in what was a close match until that point um, against Cash Wilkie, um, who's a freshman coming in, plugged into service immediately. Uh, I, I think you got to go McCutcheon here, but. I'm saying regular decision. Really, I, I hate agreeing with these so much. Let me go first at heavyweight. Okay, you can go first at heavyweight. Because I'm going to go here. Um, you got number five, Nick Nellis, number nine, Sam Stoll. And Stoll. Great matchup. To me, this is a very telling matchup. Everybody, I think the thing, the consensus is right now that Nevels is darn good. Um, and that I, I think... I think the consensus would be that Nevels has the edge here, but Stoll, I think, is a problem. And I don't care if he's coming off of a loss to Schaefer. Um, 
Stoll's a big boy and he's hard to move around. And if he can get that underhook and keep his position and his butt to the center, he's taking guys to the edge. And he's effectively using, and I don't know if it's on purpose or yes, not, but he, he's taking guys to the edge he has, and hold them here and pushing them out of bounds and they're getting stalled. He has out. figured out that Gaming stalling rule. Figured out that stalling rule. And what's funny is that Iowa has this big mat, the biggest, right? Yeah, yeah. They the always have this big mat. This is, works kind of against Stoll because he has to take him farther. But, um, uh, so I'm going to go first. Okay, you go first, yes. Come on now, but I'm going to take Neville's by regular decision. Um, I, I'm sorry, i got to agree with you. I'm going to take Neville's for the sheer fact that um, he has more leg attacks. And while I think Stoll can be effective without leg attacks, I think that Penn State will be, have Neville's prepared for that under hook or over under and walk him to the edge. So I will go here too. Now, here's the tough part, math. Now here's, you know, here's what I just realized, and it's funny because when you do the duel match by match, yeah. you're kind of looking at each one of them, and then you look back at it, and you're like, I didn't give Penn State any bonus points. I didn't do that on purpose. I just realized that now. And I only gave I him one. I think they're gonna have bonus points in this duel meet. It goes against everything my picks, but we say what we want, but well, let's go ahead and do this. I only gave him one, but you know, you think about it. Look where Penn State's bonus guys come from. Here, here, and here. One, one, two. The problem for Penn State in the bonus point department is they're matched up against three, two, and four. So Penn State's best guys pretty much match up with Iowa's best guys. I got 18, 13. Why don't you write your reds right here? Okay. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, and that's 19. And what do I got over here? Three, eight, and six, 14. I got 19, 14, Nittany Lions. I got 18, 13, Nittany Lions. So it looks like we got Penn State winning this. You going? I'm going myself and Christian Piles, who's over here off camera wrestling against Brad. Well, what's going on over here? Look at him. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we had going on. Office. It's going to be a great duel Friday. Carver Hawkeye Arena. We'll see you there. <laughs>